Hello friends, today we'll learn about atoms. Oh, I see you have an assignment on the topic. Let me make it easier for you. The tiny particles called atoms are the basic building blocks of all matter. Hmm, see this pencil holder? This is also made up of many tiny atoms. Atoms are so small that we cannot see them. Even the most powerful microscopes can't visualize single atoms. Around 450 BC, Greek philosopher Democritus introduced the concept of the atom. In 1800, John Dalton reintroduced the atom. An atom is made up of three parts, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Come on, let's learn about these one by one. Protons. A proton is a positively charged particle found within the nucleus of an atom. The number of protons in an atom define what the element is. This is referred to as the atomic number of that element. For example, carbon's atomic number is 6 because it has 6 protons. The number of protons also determines the chemical properties of an element. Protons were discovered by a New Zealand-based physicist Ernest Rutherford in the early 1900s. And now the neutrons. Let's have a look. A neutron is the neutral part of the nucleus of an atom with no electric charge and a mass slightly larger than that of a proton. It was discovered by a British physicist named James Chadwick. Protons and the neutrons combined make up the mass of an atom. Atoms of the same element may have non-identical number of neutrons. Adding neutrons changes the radioactivity of the particular element without changing the charge of the atom. This is very important in nuclear physics. Now the electrons. An electron is a negatively charged part of the atom found outside the nucleus. They are attached to the protons in the atom with electromagnetic force. The closer the electron to the nucleus, the stronger the electromagnetic force between them. Electrons can be found anywhere in the electron cloud, and its path is not fixed. Electrons were discovered by a British physicist, Joseph John Thomson, in 1897, when he was studying the properties of cathode rays. Atoms are neutral if the number of electrons and protons are equal. Atoms that have an excess or deficit of electrons are known as ions. The modern model of the atom shows an atom that has mostly empty space. In the center is a small nucleus made of neutrons and protons. The nucleus contains approximately all the mass of an atom. Surrounding the nucleus is a cloud-like region with electrons moving too fast and too unpredictably for you to know their exact location. Now, you know a lot about atoms. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.